Hey, mountain friends. Have y'all ever had fried dandelions? Well, I'm gonna show you how to fry up dandelions and they're actually really good and they're good for you. Look at there, I fried little dandelion blooms and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it and they're delicious and they're actually good for you. So we're gonna have some fried dandelions. All right, y'all, so I have a few dandelions that I picked out of the yard and took the stems off. So these are just the little dandelion uh, flowers that are the little blooms. And I'm just gonna rinse them off in some uh, warm water, not a hot. And always make sure you get these in a clean part of your yard where there's no dogs or pets and make sure you haven't uh, sprayed any kind of pesticides or anything on your yard. So these are um, so pretty. Look at them, y'all. So I'm gonna just rinse them off, clean them up really good and pat them dry, shake the excess water off. Then we're going to fry these up. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get started on frying up these dandelions. Now, I grew up in the mountains of Southeast, Southeast Kentucky, and we had a lot of wild greens all the time. Uh, it's just something that we did. I remember going out and picking polk, P-O-L-K, polk salad, uh, planting. I mean, wild salad is a lot of what the old, um, my mommy always called wild salad. My mama called it wild salad. You just go get wild greens and pick them. And, uh, dandelions, the blooms, you can eat them and you can eat the stems, you can eat the leaves too, you can make a tea, um, but the little blooms, you can fry them. You can be, even put these just like they are on a salad, like top them, put them on a salad after you've already made your salad, put them on there for extra goodness because dandelions are really good for you. Just look up the benefits of dandelions and they're really good for you. And like I said, growing up in the mountains of Southeast Kentucky, we had we ate a lot of good uh, greens, fresh wild greens. I love green onions, wild green onions. Now this is about a half a cup of flour here, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Uh, simple is all you need. You don't need a lot because most mountain cooking, Appalachian cooking didn't, was, was just simple just few ingredients and not a lot of uh, fuss. <laughs> As I say, not a lot of like spices or anything. And that's about it. So you just gonna take your little blooms and dip them right down into the egg and just shake it off and just drop them down into your seasoned flour. And I think I mentioned this is self-rising flour. It doesn't matter if it's all purpose or if it's self-rising flour, it don't matter. And I'm just gonna drop them all down into my flour. And I'm gonna take a fork, this fork here, and just toss them with my fork lightly. And just till they're coated. And drop them off over here on another little plate. Cause I'm gonna just I'm just gonna pan fry these. I want to heat up a little bit of butter and a little bit of avocado oil, and use whatever kind of oil you want. So I want to finish these, and when we come back, we'll be frying them up. Okay, y'all got my skillet hot, and I just put just a little bit of avocado oil in there. And it's best if you can use like a non-stick skillet or like a cast iron skillet. And there's probably just a couple of tablespoons in there of avocado oil. I really like avocado oil. It doesn't have a strong taste and it holds up really good to heat. And it's better for you than a lot of vegetable oils. Uh, I try to stay away from canola oil if I can. And I wanna put a little bit of butter in with that oil. Anytime you're frying in butter, I'll give you a little tip. Um, anytime you're frying in butter, if you use pure butter, it'll burn. It's always best to mix your butter in. If you want good butter flavor, which I do, it's always best to mix, uh, put your butter in with a little bit of oil. And this is hot, so it's ready for our dandelions. 
So I'm just going to take my little blooms that I've got coated already and just drop them right down in the oil. And like I said, this is more, uh, I don't know if I said it before, I thought I did. This is a method, really. There's not a written recipe. A lot of the ways I was taught to cook were more method cooking instead of following a written recipe when there really wasn't. To say my family has a cookbook, a family cookbook that we always went by, we didn't. Uh, it was more by just watching. Watching them and so I'm just gonna drop them right down in there. It doesn't take them long to fry up. And you can fry as many as you want. These themselves are good to eat on salad too. I, even after you fry them, put them right on your salad. Drop them down in there. And just gonna Get them all in. They smell good. See, doesn't take them long to fry up. And I'm just gonna start tossing them lightly. And literally doesn't take just few minutes to get them fried up. See? Mm. They really do smell good. But these are just about done, so it didn't take long at all. Alright. See, look at that. Already fried up. Turn my heat off. And I'm going to put these on a paper towel, a plate that I got lined with paper towel. And like I said, this ain't a big batch. You can fry more, way more if you want. And I'm gonna let them cool off and we're gonna taste these suckers. All right, y'all, look at there, what a mess. Now down home, where I'm from, you fried up anything, you called it a mess. You had a mess of green beans, a mess of fish, so or a mess of pork salad, or a mess of lettuce and onions, or whatever. And uh, y'all, this is a little mess of fried dandelions. And let me tell you, they're good. I've already been eating on them. And they're really good. So look at that, look at that, look at that. I tell you what they put me in mind of. They put me in mind of uh, like a, almost like a fried mushroom. But they're really good. They're very good. They have a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a bite to them, you know, like greens do, but they're really good. And I love fried mushrooms. And I love fried dry land fish. Y'all have ever heard of dry land fish? If you have, let me know where I'm from. They're caught. We call them dry land fish, but um, some people call them different things. But we call them dry land fish, but they're actually morels. And they're really common in the springtime too. So that was another food that we used to go out foraging for and go hunting out. I, me and my cousins and all of us used to go out hunting for stuff. We'd hunt for greens, poke salad, uh, dry land fish. Uh, in the summer, we'd go berry picking. But y'all, that's kind of what they this puts room puts me in mind of uh, fried mushrooms, and they're very good. And like I said, very good for you. Look up the benefits of dandelions, y'all. And y'all, some of my some of my uh, kin folk, you know, I had my papa's sister lived to be up in her nineties. <laughs> you know, a lot of the mountain people ate a lot of food off, like wild organic food right off the land. And you know, they were healthy. But, you know, not saying this this will cure everything, but I'm telling you, it's good. And I just love the simplicity of it. I could eat this whole little platter. I could fry me up about 
triple this little um, mess here and eat all of them. Don't need to dip them in nothing. They're good. This is a good side item too. You want a good side? This will be really good with anything. But I'm telling you. And as they always say, don't knock it till you try it. So if you do try them, let me know. I hope you do. Uh, if you ever try uh, any of the recipes that I that I share or anything, y'all just tag me. Do the at sign with Mountain Cooking with Missy and tag me. I love it uh, when you share uh, pictures or whatever. Just let me know. If you do, let me know. But I hope you do try them because they really are good. I would put these on a salad too. With a, just add them to a salad. You get some extra nutrients. So delicious. So like I said, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> All right. So there you go, y'all. Some fried dandelions. And I do hope you try them. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy. <laughs> this is nothing fancy at all. Just good eating.